In this video I'm going to show you how to use Adidas tasks in Sol V5. So when you click add tasks, Adidas will be the first option. First you'll have to choose which site you want. We support most main Adidas locales, so choose the one that you're going to be botting here. I'm going to go for UK. Next is the PID. The PID is usually six digits long, usually two letters followed by four numbers. You can find this at the end of the link of the product on the Adidas website or if it's a product that hasn't released yet and it's a hype drop such as a Yeezy there'll be a release guide in the Sol Discord where we post the PID that you'll need to use before the drop so keep an eye to the guides in the Discord. Size is pretty self-explanatory you can choose a random size if you don't mind what size to get or any plethora of shoe sizes here there's also kid sizes and clothing sizes at the bottom. Mode, there's non-splash and splash. Splash is simply if there's a waiting room, if there's a queue, such as a Yeezy drop. Non-splash is for a less hyped drop, such as usually ones that are at 11pm, or if it's just you wanting to test on a product that's in stock. Capture is also whether there's going to be a capture or not on the product. On most non-splash products, so products that are just sitting on the website, there won't be a capture and also for Yeezys recently there hasn't been a capture so 99.9% .9 of the time you're going to want to have this as capture false but we'll also post in the discord if you need to have capture true for this advanced options are new for Sol V5 but this is simply if you want to generate an account or log into an existing account recently Adidas has been stopping the sharing of accounts especially through discord so we recommend having the advanced option set to none and then once the task passes you can right click the task and you can open it in the inbot browser or open it in the inbot incognito chrome and then check out within the bot this means that the proxy you use the hmac that's used on the task all stay the same for the product so you've got the highest chance of being able to check it out however if you do want to generate an account you can do so here and choose generate account if you do this you'll want to go to the settings tab and I've put that in the settings video uh, on how to set up a catch-all and email and password for Adidas accounts when generating an account so if you haven't seen the settings video yet and don't know how to do that go there you can also instead of generating accounts log into an existing account so in Sol V4 you had to generate an account at the time of creating a task however that was sometimes buggy sometimes it didn't work and sometimes you couldn't generate an account at the time of the job which was giving some people trouble so now there's the option to log into an existing account so within the new advanced tab which is new for Sol V5 you can load pre-existing Adidas accounts into the advanced tab under Adidas and then if you're choosing the login to an existing account option here it will take one from the advanced tab so usually I'd recommend none and then use the inbox browser but if you do want to use accounts it might be best to use login to existing account and load some in the advanced tab beforehand if you don't know how to do so check the advanced tab video as that might be more reliable than trying to generate an account at the time of the drop proxy group you can refer to the proxy video if you don't know how to use proxy groups but you can basically create different groups with different proxies so if you are needing different proxies for different sites that you're running at the same time that's now possible within v5 so for adidas you'll want mainly residential proxies but if you have aio proxies or dc proxies that are unbanned on adidas then they're fine as well I recommend using a 3 to 1 ratio, so if you're using 50 proxies, you can usually run about 150 tasks. Profile. This is the profile that you'll want to use for Adidas, although Adidas doesn't auto-check out, the profile that you select here can be auto-filled within the inbox browser. So once you've opened the browser, you can hit the auto-fill button and the details from the profile that you select here will be auto-filled. This can be buggy and sometimes it's best to manually check out yourself by entering your details and typing them at the time, but this is an option here so make sure that the profile you want to use is here. A timer, you do not need a timer for Adidas splash drops, so for Yeezys you do not need a timer as you need to start the tasks once the stock goes live. This is usually one minute past the time that it's expected to drop, so for US it's 10am, so usually at 10.01am you will just start your tasks, so there's no need for a timer. But remember to wait to be at by a dev in the Discord to tell you to start your tasks, as if you start them too early you risk them being banned, and there's no way you can pass the splash early anyway, so it's a totally pointless thing to do. Once you've created your tasks, they'll show up here. You can select tasks if you want to start certain tasks at a um, particular time you can select them 
and if you want to start them singly you can start them here or if you want to start all you can start them down here similarly you can start a hundred tasks here which is a handy option by right clicking start all because this will mean that say if you're running 500 tasks on a drop if you start all 500 at once your bot might crash so by right clicking you can start a hundred tasks which has less likelihood of the bot crashing and it just allows you to start them at a more steady pace so once tasks have passed splash they'll add to cart and although this is a non-splash test now it'll say either carted if you haven't selected account or it'll say logged in if you've decided to use an account once this has happened you can right click and there are several more options that weren't available before the product carted so open your splash pass opens the splash pass just in a normal inbuilt browser this is where you can also use the autofill function which uses the profile that you selected when creating the task the second option and the option that I prefer is open the splash pass in Chrome so this opens an incognito browser and takes you to Adidas where you can then check out I prefer this as it's usually easier to check out than the inbuilt browser although it doesn't have the autofill option if you do use the incognito browser and you're using proxies you'll be prompted to enter the proxy username and password when opening the incognito browser Sometimes if you have a provider that gives you simple usernames and passwords you can type them but if it's long ones that are just random digits you can right click and you can copy the proxy used. It's not here for me because I didn't use proxies but there will be a copy proxy option if you're using a proxy and you can paste that in. Copy the cart cookie is not necessarily needed anymore as you can just open them in the Chrome. Uh, but if you do want to open them in your Chrome browser, not the incognito browser, you'll need to copy the cart cookie using the inspect element. There is a video of this in the Adidas guide section in the Discord, but I wouldn't recommend doing it. I would just open the splash pass in the Chrome. Here you can also view task logs if you get failures and you want to show the support or devs to see what went wrong. And you can also duplicate tasks if you want more tasks of exactly the same. A last reminder is sometimes when you're running non-splash tasks, there will be a status that's shown before the task carts waiting for cookie from harvester this means you need to harvest a cookie there's a separate video on this in this playlist on the cookie harvester you'll have to open one using the new harvester button so if you do get the waiting for cookie from harvester and you don't know what to do visit the cookie harvester button which is also in this youtube